Well, hello YouTube. Well, today I'm going to try a long-term test on my pellet burner in my rocket stove. Well, I'm going to start by giving you a little uh, tour of what I change in my pellet burner. First of all, I did cut the bottom, which gave me access to these slots here. And I played around with these here, uh, making them a little bit bigger and bigger and bigger until I was satisfied that the pellets were falling uh, good enough for it to burn at a good temperature. Then I I replaced the uh, back plate. I had cut the bottoms off, but. Uh, I needed that to be uh, full again and also I included that little uh, that little stopper at the back here this little piece it simply stopped the pellets from falling out of the burner when they fall and they they fall on the back plate that's all it is so put that in my rocket stove put uh, 40 pounds of pellet and start burning. Well, let's try that. Well, I put 40 pounds of pellet and the burner's in. Let's uh, now to light it up. There. I just put my uh, Torch in like that for a minute or two. Warm up the uh, inside of the burner, and then I uh, light up the pellet. It is cold in here. Actually, it is in the shop. It is. Let me see now. Let's see if this is going to show. I got uh, minus uh, nine or what is it? No, uh, sixteen Fahrenheit. So I'm going to use. This here just to see how much it's going to heat up and how fast. Well, I'll uh, see now with this glass. Well, it's still there. Uh, oh, sorry, my torch fell down. bit of bag graph. And I believe that my fire is going. You see? Yeah. My fire is going. Now uh, the glass is set. Uh, Coal, so it's going to take a couple of minutes to warm up so I'm able to see the flame inside and the temperature is at zero time is 8.43 I'll check back in an hour and see what the temperature is okay, let's see now Well, we'll go from here, back in an hour. 
Well, let me see now. Time is 9.52, about an hour. Uh, flame is still going good. So we got a good flame. Temperature of the stove is close to 500 degrees. Top of the stove. And the temperature in here is, let me see now. Well, the temperature went up. It is almost uh, 30 degrees Fahrenheit and minus 3. So, let me see inside the burner now. What does it look like? Well, no ash buildup. It seems to be falling pretty good. I got the I say no ash build up. Uh, pellets. I don't know if it's going to show, but I got a little hole in my uh, pellets from what I started with. And I still got a good flame. Well, check back in an hour, see uh, where we're at. Well, got busy and forgot about time. Well, it's almost two hours later. Flame is... Uh, good focus. Anyway. Flame is still strong. Temperature is fifty size focus there are four hundred and fifties. So that's within where I want to be, four hundred and fifties, five hundred degrees. And flame is still good. Uh, well, as far as pellets not too bad. What I use and let's see now there's the burner still uh, no hash build up which is what I'm looking for that's looking good the flame and and I got a good strong flame I never had that before it's first time I get the, this far alone is now three hours and the flame is still strong I'm not using that much that much pellets and see now temperature in here is now uh, what is it now one two three six uh, Celsius and 40 43 degrees so Not something that's going to heat up tremendously fast, but it will keep a good temperature in here. So if I put this uh, late at night, 
light it, light it late at night. In the morning, I should have a good, uh, a good heat in here, or a good temperature, which is what I'm looking for, so that whenever I go, uh, whenever I go, uh, I go to bed, I'm able to light the uh, burners, pellet burner, and in the morning I have a decent temperature in here. Uh, because uh, since I work during the week, I need, uh, and I want to start working on Saturday morning. Well, at least I got something to uh, to heat up the place during the night, so that Saturday morning I'm able to start early. Well, let's give it another hour and see uh, see what's going on. Well, this might get boring after a while, but I just want to see what's going on. So it's been about an hour again, and the flame's still strong. Temperature went down a little bit. So, and pellets are going down. At a decent rate, I believe. I'll see how long it uh, it lasts. Already lasted over about four hours. And let's see inside now. Okay. Okay, that's why the temperature went down a little bit. I got a little bit of ash built up on the right hand side. Pellets are still falling good on the other side. Yeah. That took care of that ash. Flame's still good. So I have a good flame. And temperature is well it didn't go up by much. Forty eight and forty eight Fahrenheit and eight Celsius. So, I don't want to bore you guys, so I'm going to let the uh, let the fire burn for a while before I come back. If there's any major changes, I'll, uh, I'll keep checking and put the camera on. If not, well, I'll just... Uh, I'll just see what's going on. I'll just uh, wait and see how long the pellet's going to burn. So, see you back later. Well, it is a quarter after eight in the evening. My test has been going for over uh, 12 hours. I got a pretty good flame going. The temperature of the stove is just a little bit underneath 500 degrees. And I burn uh, over three quarters of my pellets. Now I found something while uh, playing around with my my stove tonight. How to get a bigger flame? And how I did that? Well. I opened my ash box. I'm letting more air go through my burner. On the long term, I don't know if that's gonna 
that's not going to increase a buildup of ash. That's going to, but right now it's giving me more heat. Not that I need it. The stove is doing exactly what I want, but if I do need it, I know how to do it now. I still got to put something to lock that up. But the uh, burn is staying pretty clean. No ash buildup. The temperature in here is uh, in the after 12 hours. Temperature in here is uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, about uh, 16 Celsius. So that's a uh, that's good. So, what to conclude after 12 hours? Uh, the burner is doing exactly what I what I was looking for. So I would call this a success. It's keeping the stove at about 450 degrees to 500 degrees. It's uh, it's got a good flame. It's burning about the amount of pellets that I was expecting. Yeah, I see a little bit less than three quarter of the bag. So, hey, it's doing what I want. So if you have any comment or question, leave them below. Hit the thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.